She's tight, but she'll fit. Awesome. All my scrap metals is in the way though. But uh, yeah, I got a scrap metal bin from work. I'll show you guys that. It's pretty friggin' sweet. We got like probably 80 of these things. Well, 30 at least, but uh, point is there's lots. And we're just freaking giving them away, throwing them on our property by the side of the road with a big sign that says free. So I was like, yeah, oh, friggin' right, so I'll grab one. So I can turn that in my scrap metals box. I also grabbed a piece of uh, angle iron for Shane's project. That'll work awesome. And if I cut it into eight inch strips, I've got enough to do a few of them. Oh, and it's a Dodge Ram. I think it's a little uh, D50 or something. I'm not sure, but it's a Dodge. Not the Toyota. Holy frig. Whoever is screaming has got a pair of lungs on him. Um, I'm gonna start ripping the axle apart. I need to uh, get all the freaking uh, water out of her. And there's so much light behind it, you guys can't even see it. It's just a silhouette. Well, I'm not looking forward to doing this. Holy frig. Well, I guess my inner seals are still good because there's no uh, freaking weepage coming out of either of the the friggin steering knuckles but yeah I got a busted bolt up top there but I was looking I've got two perfectly good steering knuckles right there I just have to clean the other one up but the only thing with that is uh, I had to drill a couple of my tab ear tabs out a bit not a big deal and something in my power steering exploded that's pretty ugly. Looks like there's coolant leaking too. That's awesome. Frick, that's coolant. I'm really concerned about my rad now. I don't know what uh, could have happened to it. Oh well, I guess I'll pop the hood and have a look. If I can pop the hood. <laughs> well, that's as much as she'll go. I had to put her right in the center hole there. Because uh, she ain't going up that high. But, uh, I have a peek. Hopefully this stupid fan didn't rub through. I'll grab a light. Well, I can't tell where she's bleeding the coolant from, but, uh, it's all down the side of the frame and everything. Which really, really sucks. And it, I'm kind of not feeling like doing this right now. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do a little bit of, uh, cleaning up, get this stuff moved, and, uh, Get my scrap metals box right in the corner. That'd be decent. And then I can get all that stuff out of the way, put it over to that side because it's got more of a, a side wall than, than that. Then, uh, yeah, I think that, that's really discouraging about the freaking coolant. I'm just exhausted. Well, I decided I'm feeling okay enough to work on these a little bit. I'll just clean them up and stuff. I pulled everything apart. The bearings are toast, so I tossed them, but uh, I'm gonna use the old wire brush and freaking clean her right up. Like it's just covered in dirt and stuff. I think uh, this axle was like half buried for a couple years anyways. But, uh, she should clean up pretty good. Kind of like the texture that metal gets when uh, it's got a little bit of rust and you scrape it off. It looks pretty cool. It's the same kind of same kind of thing that I did with my uh, in cab winch controller. I used a piece of metal that was just rusted to frig. I just took her over to the bench grinder and basically used this on the bench grinder and friggin' clean the frig out of her. Yeah, I like that texture, it's kind of cool. So, if these ones are in good shape, which I don't see why they wouldn't be, doesn't look like any of the holes are freaking uh, filled with broken bolt ends. No, it doesn't look like it. I might uh, modify these to work with my um, caliper mounting system and then just run these ones. I'll pr well, I might paint them, I don't know. We'll see how, uh, how lazy I'm feeling. <laughs> but uh, for now, I'll just clean them up. We'll see how they go. But anyways, it's dinner time. I'm going to go eat a little bit of something. And then come back out and hit her hard.
wild life. Well, I got this knuckle all cleaned right up. Friggin' uh, took the old wire brush to her and friggin' cleaned the frig out of her. And then uh, <clears throat> put her in the old parts washer and cleaned out the inside. It actually looks really good. I removed that fitting there and what I'm probably going to do is install um, kind of like a, a brass plug except I'm going to drill and tap it for a, a grease nipple. That way I can pump this just full of grease. So what I'm doing here is removing um, the freaking studs. What I got to do is you got to run one nut on and then another nut and then you tighten them against each other and then you use uh, the back one to loosen her off. And it works pretty good. Never had issues with this method before. Except I gotta kinda use both hands. So I'll get all these studs out. These ones will be a little bit more difficult. But I'll get them all out and we'll see how much new studs cost. the wildlife. Apparently that is the dog that keeps going through everybody's garbage and dragging it around to the owner's house. <laughs> so yeah we gotta get a garbage pin or garbage bin. Who do you belong to? That. All right, well I tried uh, using a tap and die kit to thread these again, but it's not working. So, handy dandy pipe wrench on her. For some reason this one came in just to so get her on there and you can torque them off. But, uh, well, if you got to resort to this, that means your friggin' studs are dead anyways and you need new ones. So, looks like I'm going to have to order some if I plan on using these knuckles. And if I do, if I do plan on using these knuckles, what I'm going to do is I'll do the fifth stud mod. you got to drill it. Um, you can kind of see a seam there. you got to drill a hole and then weld a piece of angle iron or something to your, uh, to your high steer arm on both knuckles. And then... Uh, you drill a hole through the angle iron and you run a bolt with a nut in the back and um, one guy, I forget who, but they're selling that as a kit. It's incredibly easy to make your own. I think he's selling it for like 10, 10 or 15, maybe 20 bucks a kit and you can do both knuckles with the kit. But all it is is a piece of angle iron with a hole in it and a bolt with a nut. It's freaking easy. Hell, I could make that kit. <laughs> Some of these are in pretty good, so I gotta use the big boy. <laughs> Once you break them loose, though, they'll come easy. Maybe not easy, but easier. All right, 
these studs are garbage. All right, with these studs, I've determined that they're M14 size. This side is an M14 by one, and this side is M14 by one, two, five. So I don't have either of those taps, so I'm gonna have to get them, because I need to retap these, because they're not looking too great. Uh, the bottoms are perfectly fine, they came out easy. Um, but yeah, and then I'm in the process of tapping this right now. I've got these three complete. I gotta do these uh, five. And then uh, I'll drill these out to, I believe, half inch is what I used. And then this knuckle will be ready for my conversion. Well, I just retapped all these eight holes. They were full of crap and stuff. So, um, tap size you're gonna want to use is a, let's see if it'll focus, 10 millimeter by 125. And uh, that's what these bolts are, so. Yeah. Probably gonna be setting this one up for uh, the big break front mod. So, and I'll use it as a kind of a prototype to get that uh, fifth knuckle stud in before. It's just covered in crap and pretty gross inside. All the friggin' bolt holes, I wouldn't try threading anything into those. Just freaking strip the threads and wreck everything. And then after, friggin' rates. It's way nicer. Sweet. solid axle and yeah I think I'm going to pick a pole to grab a 22 RE uh, power steering pump because I've tapped those out not tapped them but um, I've drilled out the restrictor valve in those and never ever blown one up but uh, blown up a couple of these ones so I'll go grab the pump. I gotta check out those uh, FJ60 axles and then I have to pick up some light switches. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, thanks for watching and until tomorrow, take care, guys.